Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kordash. I want to give double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. I want to say peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. Shalom to you, brothers. Uh, back in the spirit with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying, uh, but also exhorting uh, to an elect member or two. And in this lesson, I'm just going to speak a few words um, on adversity. Okay. Um, this is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. All right. And adversity, I have it pulled up here on the online etymology. And it says the condition of misfortune, hardship, difficulty, distress. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I want to, uh, Kind of, uh, condition of misfortune, hardship, difficulty, distress um, is why I want to focus in here on this lesson. Um, because when coming to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you should prepare yourself for adversity, hardships, misfortunes, difficulties, and distress. All right, you're not going to be brought into something as precious as being a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and being a hopeful elect. Without going through anything. Anything worth having. Is worth suffering for. Okay. That's with anything man. Not only the truth. But. Uh, anything that you want. That is of any value in life. There's. Uh, there's. Um, adversity. That must be conquered. While getting to. Uh, your ultimate goal. Whatever that may be. If it's starting a business. You know, your business is going to take a loss within the first three to five years. You may not see profit. You know, um, you may go through bankruptcy or whatever the case may be. That's adversity, man. And what separates uh, the weak or the faint from those of, of courage and strength is how they respond to adversity. Okay. Are you going to close up shop? And just say, fuck it, you know, I had, you know, a lot of misfortunes and you just going to let that be your story. Or are you going to take your licks and keep pushing? And that's also the mentality, the, also the mentality we uh, abide by to our best of, to the best of our ability when serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the scriptures tell us, um, therefore, endure hardness, you know, and adversity goes into hardship. It says, um, the scriptures tell us to endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. So Proverbs 24 and 10 said, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. You know, and uh, I played ball with guys like that. You know, when we were winning or when things were going as planned um, in games or in practice, they the loudest ones in the room. You know, they're happy and jovial playing around. But as soon as we get an L or we got to run a couple of extra suicides, you know, certain guys want to play hurt or want to play sick so they can sit out because they weren't made for hardships, adversity, difficulties, and distress. They want to, uh, they just want to coast through life, so to speak. They don't want anything to challenge them. And with challenges, Come, comes growth, you know, and it's the same thing in the truth. Coming to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not an easy task. No man uh, in the scriptures, of our forefathers, had it completely 100% easy, man. They went through things, you know, look at Job, look at Daniel, Moses, Abraham, all of them, man, faced some type of adversity. Paul went through shipwreck. You know, went through uh, perils of his own countrymen. You know, his own people coming against him. Uh, he was bitten by a snake. Paul went through all went through all types of adversity, man. You know, but he knew that if he fought through the adversity, there was a reward at the end of um, 
at the end of the adversity that he faced, you know. And we have to keep these things in mind when we feel like, you know, shit ain't going our way or we catching pure hell. Just know that it's for, hey, the Lord uh, chasteneth who he loveth. That's what the scriptures say. A form of chastening is, is distress and condition of misfortune. No one likes getting their ass beat, you know. No one likes being down, you know. But, hey, the scriptures also tell you um, that you should know how to be a base. Those that are exalted shall be abased, and those that are abased shall be abound. The Lord deals with both sides of the coin. So you can't just take all the all the credit and, and be happy when things are going their, going your way and credit that to you how about Shimmy I was shy. And then when you face adversity, you always want to say it's Satan. You know, it don't work like that. Matter of fact, from now we go to the book of Sirach, uh, the 11th chapter, and verse 14. It says, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. So the Lord doeth all these things, man. Prosperity, adversity, life, death, poverty, and riches. So you have to you have to give the Lord uh, 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 an account of that as well. The good with the bad, the bitter with the sweet. You know the scriptures tell you that 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 um the that the bitterness of the scriptures uh the bitterness of the scriptures are are compared to uh to wormwood wormwood and a gal okay which are very bitter plants you know so you got to chew on the bitter with the sweet man you know that's a form of facing adversity okay so uh. Matter of fact, stay in the book of uh, Sirach uh, 2. I start at um, verse 4. It says, uh, this Sirach or Ecclesiastes 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Hey, and I read this word again, man. Adversity in the online etymology. It says condition of misfortune, hardship, difficulty, distress. That sounds like a lower state to me. And what does the scripture say about it? Again, here in Proverbs, it's like it's, uh, Sirach 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. It didn't say just take the good cheerfully and the bad, you know, you give credit to Satan for that. Oh, that's just Satan fucking with me or this. No, man, that's the Lord refining you and, and, and putting you through that process, putting that fire to your ass and see what are you going to faint in the in the in a uh, face of adversity or whether you're going to endure and come out as fine gold all right so it says whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity acceptable men that's the key word acceptable are you acceptable to your how about shimmy i was shy if you are, you're going to take your adversity and roll with the punches. You know, it says for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. I'll be I'd rather be tried in the in the, in the furnace of adversity, you know, than a, than a, than to eat a missile, you know, and and, <laughs> and feel that fire. OK, this is a small fire, man. You know, we count it all towards the ministry. You know, this is what we signed up for. And you can take this in, in your everyday life and apply it as well, too, man. If you want to get to anything, like I said earlier in the lesson, that is worth having. It's just, man, it's going to happen, man. So scrap up, put on your boots, man, and endure like a soldier for your how about see me, I was shot, man, you know. See, see, that's the thing. Jacob go through all type of hell on the workplace and their personal life. Uh, uh, be with a chick that mistreat him and, and always uh, uh, putting his ass in misfortunes and hardships. But he'll endure that for 10, 12, however long years. But when it comes to serving hard by Shimei Shai, you catch a little hell and you check the hell out within six months, you know. That's the thing with our people, man. They want everything to come easy. They don't want to be tested, you know. 
It says, uh, verse 6, believe in him and he will help thee order thy way right and trust in him. All right. So, man, this was just a quick, quick exhorting uh, lesson. Um, our jobs to exhort daily. So this is just, you know, my addition to the exhort, uh, the exhortation uh, to the ministry or the hope elect and Lord willing, it was exhorting, but also edifying. You know, I want to end it by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, Shalom.